There are many times in various fabrication layups that you'll start off with a 90 degree angle and you'll want to add a nice curve to it, whether it's to have your composite lay flat without air or just to give it a nice aesthetic look. Over the years, it's been the norm to just get your resin mixture and filler together and slop it out of the bucket and try and spread it into the corner with your spreader. This tends to leave a lot of mess, use a lot of material, and waste a lot of material as well. We're not going to do it that way. What you'll need is your spreader, sandpaper, resin, catalyst, filler, bucket, brush, stir stick, plastic bag, and a pair of scissors. We're going to start off by using our sandpaper to just sand around the area that we're going to be filling and adding the curve to. All we're basically doing is removing any dust, dirt, grime, gunk, oils, anything that's going to inhibit a nice solid bond. I'm just going to use the brush to brush away any dust or residue. Then we're going to mix up our resin and filler. I'm just using some Q-Cell because it's a non-structural fill, it's just for the demo. Any of the fillers can be used for whatever various situation you're going to be doing. I'm going to mix it up to the thickness that you desire. Just add a few drops of catalyst. We don't want to over catalyze it because it will be inside of the bag and we don't want it to go off prematurely. I did use the UV Cure resin just because that's what I had. So there's, you don't need to use it. You can use any type of our resins. You can use our marine resin, standard laminate resin, or the UV Cures if you'd like, and add catalyst to it. Next step is to just basically get the mixture out of the bucket and into the bag as quickly as possible. Next we're going to seal off the bag, make sure we get it a nice little seal there. Pop open a corner and squeeze excess air out so we can twist it up kind of like a, a pastry chef would. There you go, a little pastry tube right there and we have the corner, it's full of material and we're just going to snip it right off with our scissors and we're ready to go. All we're going to do is apply even pressure at an even speed along that little corner there and there it is. It's that simple. Now we're going to take the top corner of our spreader that's rounded and use that to create the nice even curve. Drag it once to spread it and a second time to remove any excess material that is unnecessary. Since that was so easy and took such a little time, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side as well. You can see it's a very simple process that's really, really helpful in saving material and time and cleanup. After that, we just let it cure, and we're going to come back with our sandpaper and just blend it right in. So after this, the next step will be either painting or laying up your composite, whatever, whatever the project calls for. We hope this was a nice little quick trick that will help you save time and money and frustration in the future.